back to a CNN special on why Yoss should live in Corinth. Did you know that Corinth has one of the best school systems in Greece at the time? Now to Jaden, who will be talking about the godly perks in Corinth. Thanks, Arl. We're at the Temple of Apollo here. If you want to keep taking prophecies from your original gods, we also have three other gods here on good terms with. I mean, you might as well expand your territory and friendship, right? Did you know that Jason settled here with Medea after his adventures looking for the Golden Fleece? Well, he did! Thank you for that information on the gods, Jaden. Now to Liam reporting on important temples, locations, and landmarks. Here are some important events that had happened in ancient Greece, Corinth, the Corinthian War, one of the many wars that happened in between 387 BC and 395 BC was between five different yet close city-states. These five were Athens, Corinth, Thebes, and Argos, along with Sparta. It began when both Corinth and Thebes came together in order to attack and destroy Athens which they were successful at. Another event was a killer earthquake that killed 10 people and injured hundreds. And after all that we are still standing strong. Corinth is located in the Peloponnesus in South Central Greece. The city state is at the eastern end of the Gulf of Corinth. It is easy to access the iron and waters from where the city state is on a map as well as the Sea of Crete. The Acro Corinthius lies about 1.5 miles south of the Isthmus, which connects the Peloponnesus with Central Greece and also separates the Saronic and Corinthian gulfs from each other. Corinth is about 50 miles from Athens and is on a terrace of 300 feet above sea level. The citadel, citadel rises precipitously above the city and commands the land route in the Peloponnesus, which gives Corinth a strategic and commercial importance. Corinth is known for its trade, naval fleet, and participation in various Greek wars and status as a major Roman colony. And for over a millennium, it was rarely out of the limelight in the ancient world. Did you know that Corinth is also known for its amazing pottery? It is. The, Corinth, the Corinthian War was an ancient Greek conflict lasting from 395 BC until 387 BC near Corinth. The Corinth Canal is one of the main attractions in Corinth. It's a great place to get water that you can actually drink. As you know, fresh water is extremely rare in Greece. You can also visit a Corinth. We have a free temple of Apollo if you want to take your prophesies from him. Back to you, Errol. Corn schools aren't as fancy as those in Athens, but they are much better for education. For a while, the ancient Greek city state of Corn had a huge problem with underemployment. Their city grew faster than their job market. Schools aren't as fancy as those in Athens, but they are much better for education. For a while, the ancient Greek city state of Corinth had a huge problem with unemployment. Their cities grew faster than their job market. Some city states would have ignored this situation, but not Corinth. They solved the problem by creating public work projects. One of the public work projects was to build new aqueducts, the huge pipes that brought fresh water into the city. This put people to work and solved another problem. The need for enough safe drinking water to provide for their growing population. Did you know that Corinth is also known for its amazing pottery? Corinth is the city state on top. We don't quit, we always work, we never stop. We have three gods that you are with, so Eos come on over to Corinth. Corinth is a city state of water. It's known for all of its pottery. It's located down in South Greece. We have really good weather, but sometimes there's a breeze. Started. Welcome back. Oh, it already. <laughs> Corinth. You hear? Corinth. Corinth. Did you know that Corinth is also known for its amazing pottery?